I used to be in the Navy, stationed on an Aegis class guided missile cruiser. One day at sea, I'm taking a break on the flight deck, which was just behind the rear Aegis radar array, and I noticed all these dead birds all over the flight deck. It didn't take me too long to realise that these birds had flown in front of the radar and been microwaved to death. This gave me an idea. I figured, if it works on birds, it should work on popcorn. And microwave's a microwave, right? So the next time we pull into port, I go to get some microwave popcorn. Unfortunately, my shopping trip coincided with Super Bowl Sunday, so the microwave popcorn, and just about every other salty snack in the store, was gone. All they had left was Jiffy Pop. I didn't even know they still made Jiffy Pop. Anyway, science waits for no man, or something like that. So I returned to the ship and stashed the popcorn in my shop. During our next outing, I tie some string to the handle of the Jiffy Pop pan and sneak out onto the weather deck. Just forward of my shop was a ladder that led to the deck overlooking the radar away, but which is closed off during radar operations for safety reasons. So I climb up there and lower the Jiffy Pop down in front of the rear array. Boom! The Jiffy Pop explodes immediately, showering the flight deck with burnt popcorn. I pull the burst pan up, wind in my string, and chuck the entire apparatus over the side before running back into my shop. No sooner do I walk in the door than the phone rings. It's CICS, the war room. The officer in charge wants me to go out onto the weather deck and look behind us and tell him if there's anything there. I do. There isn't. I tell him so. He hangs up, swearing. Later that night, I get the story from a radio man friend of mine who was in CICS at the time. Turns out that the Jiffy Pop pan had reflected the radar waves. For those who aren't familiar with radar operation, a radar away sweeps back and forth, radiating waves the whole time. The waves are then reflected back to the array by anything they hit, such as planes, another ship, etc. This reflection tells the radar how something big is, how far away it is, etc. The problem comes with the wavelengths involved. At too close a distance, objects can show up on the radar as being at a different distance than it really is, or a different size. My Jiffy Pop pan appeared on the radar as a three mile wide contact, 100 yards off the stern, and was only on screen for a couple of seconds before disappearing. The OIC was freaking out about it, and to call in the air force. So in the end, my curiosity about the microwave properties of an Aegis radar caused a US Navy warship to file a false UFO report. I didn't tell anyone I was involved until long after I got out.